Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day. In today's video, I am opening up another Shrouded Fable Elite Trainer Box to see how many rare cards I can pull from this single Elite Trainer Box. Now, how many rare cards come inside of an Elite Trainer Box? Now, you're not guaranteed anything, but I am going to see how many I can pull from one Elite Trainer Box. But before we do that, hello, my name is Josh Pokestep. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I say, let's get into it. So here is the Shrouded Fable Elite Trainer Box that we are opening up in today's video. Um, I hope you're having an amazing day. I am, uh, this video will be going up on a Wednesday, no. I'm filming it on a Wednesday. This video will go up on a Thursday. Um, so I hope you're having a good Thursday. It's almost the weekend. We are almost there. I am super excited. Let me know if you have any weekend plans. What are you doing this weekend? Are you going anywhere? Are you going to do anything fun? Are you going to stay home and open cards? Look at this promo. Amazing. I love it. Um, this weekend, I am more than likely going to be spending a ton of time playing TCG Card Shop Simulator. If you have not played that game, oh my goodness, I recommend it 100% because I am obsessed with it. My wife and I have been playing it non-stop for like a week and a half. It is just so much fun. Here's a card sleeve. Uh, comes with 23 card sleeves. Um, it is such a fun game. There's actually a Pokemon mod, so I've been playing that. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Pick our lucky final pack, which will be this one. It is such a fun game, though. We've been playing it nonstop. I am obsessed. Um, my wife and I, whenever we put our kids to bed, we either relax together by playing games together or we watch TV and movies together when our two kids go to sleep at night. It is just a good way to wind down and relax for the rest of the night. Fire energy. Um, but yeah, hope you're having a good day. I'm just going to set these right here. We got Eevee, Dusclops, Horsey. We got Qfint, Night Stretcher, Genesect, Binding Mochi. We got Sylveon, Dartrix, and a Dusk Noir for the rare. So nothing too exciting. Um, I'm going to try and set these somewhere. Um, but I did want to let you know that I appreciate each and every single one of you that watch my videos, that like the video, and comment on the videos because this past week, I believe it was Monday, Tuesday. So Tuesday the 8th, I was able to apply to get this channel monetized. So that means I'm able to earn money from the videos, which means I will, if I do get approved for monetization, I will be able to put more money into this channel. So that means I'll be able to buy stuff specifically for giveaways because I, oh, we got a Kingdra EX, let's go. Um, I want to be able to give back to you guys because without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. I would just be a 30, mid 30 year old guy opening cards in his bedroom. <laughs> um, but I have a ton of fun doing it and I, it just blows me away that, um, I've been doing this channel for a long time. I think I started this specific channel in 2017, but I didn't start uploading Pokemon content until like 2021 I think and then I went full Pokemon like 2021 2022 and I have loved it ever since I am no longer I wasn't uh enjoying what I was doing in the beginning I was just posting a video to post it to feed the algorithm but I am finally at a honestly ever since I started uploading Pokemon videos I have been so happy I've not gotten burnout because I genuinely love opening Pokemon cards. I am passionate about Pokemon. Ooh, Hollow Energy. Very cool. Um, I am super passionate about Pokemon. I grew up playing Pokemon games. I grew up opening and collecting the cards, watching the movies, watching the shows. It is. It has just been a huge staple of my childhood. And I couldn't be more excited to 
earn money from this channel. And uh, like I said, I wanna be able to do giveaways in my videos because I do this all out of pocket. I don't make any money from YouTube yet. Um, I don't get free product. I buy cards every single week for my videos and I do three openings a week. So that is quite a bit of money, but honestly, I enjoy doing it. I have fun doing it. Um, but if I'm able to give back, I would love to do that. I've always said that I want to be able to buy like booster boxes. Like I want to buy a case of booster boxes just to open up and give away every single pack for free on a like live stream or something. Cause that would be so much fun to just open packs and give them away to you guys, the community. I don't have a name for this community, which is very weird. I don't know what to call it. Um, but again, I appreciate you more than you will ever know. And I just hope you guys continue to stick with me and watch my videos. I know some of my videos aren't super exciting. I know I'm just in my room opening elite train, another hello <laughs> energy. I know I just sit in my room and I open packs, elite trainer boxes. Um, but I want to go out and do more like vloggy style videos like me going to Walmart, Meyer, Target. Um, I know I do some of that here and there, but I want to do that more and more. That way I keep the content different for you guys to enjoy. Um, but again, I do this for fun. I enjoy opening Pokemon cards and I try to spread a positive message because this world is filled with too much negativity. So I hope I am able to take up 10, 15 minutes of your time, sometimes 45 minutes. My wife and I did a booster box video and it was almost a 45 minute video. Um, but I hope I am able to just bring you a safe space to where you can come here and you can just forget about everything and just have a fun time um, because that's what it's all about you know is having fun enjoying yourself um, and I hope I am able to do that for you um, Cresselia Fracture and Azorak oh my goodness what is actually going on we've pulled what two cards I'm not counting the energies right now um We've pulled two EX cards and that's all we've pulled so far. But honestly, I'm not even upset. Um, you know what? I might open a couple more packs. I might just have to. Here's a code card. I'm going to save that Shrouded Fable for last still though. We got a Fire Energy. We got Houndoom, Stuffle, Joltik, Persian. We got Xerox, Z Z Z Zero. Zero six. Uh, <laughs> what is going on here? We got Golbat, Dusknoir. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple more packs just to make this interesting. We're opening these two Scarlet and Violet base packs. We're just gonna see what we can pull out of these two packs before we go into the final pack of today's video. Um, hopefully, we can pull something that we might need for our Scarlet and Violet base set binder. Um, I need like 20 something cards for that set. Uh, Leaf Energy, we got Fire, if it will focus. We got Squawkabilly, Capsicid, Aloma Mola, Palmo, Wugtrio, we got Judge, Floatzel, we got Rock Chestplate, Nimona and Magnazone. Now I have pulled this one already, but still it is such a cool card. I almost dropped my pack. Let me sleeve this one up. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we got a Magnazone EX right there. We've got this Scarlet and Violet base set pack. Like I said, there's like 20 something cards I still need to pull. Um, so hopefully, we can pull something that we might need. Here is a code card. One in the front. Uh, fighting energy. We got lightning. Okay. Magnemite. We've got Magikarp. Tarantula. Pokemon Catcher. Mousehold. Vitality Band. Toxtricity. We got Blissey. Scatterbug. And an Indeedy. I threw the cards. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're going to set these right over here. But we are on the final pack of today's video. And what I do for the final pack of every single video is what I call the double pack. 
blessing. Now, what is the double pack blessing? I'm going to tell you. You take the flap on the back of the pack, you go from the top to the bottom eight times. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You put the pack in between your hands ever so gently. You don't want to bend the cards. You don't want to crinkle the cards. You don't want to wrinkle the cards. You want to treat the cards with kindness. Then you take a deep breath in and a deep breath. Hum! Do that one more time. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Hum. Okay, so now that I have doubly blessed the pack, I'm guaranteed to pull something amazing. Now, is that true? Absolutely not. You're not guaranteed anything other than a hollow rare, especially if you're opening the Scarlet and Violet era fire energy, but that is not the point of opening Pokemon cards. The point of opening Pokemon cards is to have fun and enjoy yourself. Maybe you open cards to put together a deck so you can battle your friends or your family, or maybe you compete at a local tournament at your local card shop, or maybe you have an entire binder of Korean... Kyrum cards. Kyrum. Or maybe you have an entire binder of Night Stretcher. I don't know. As long as you're having fun, that is truly all that matters. Sure, you can pull expensive cards. You can pull rare cards. You can pull very cool cards. But if you're pulling cards just to maybe turn around and sell it, I guarantee you will get burnt out on doing it. But as long as you're having fun, that is truly all that matters as we end on a Cresselia for the rare honestly not a bad opening i had a ton of fun i hope you did too and with that being said thank you so much for watching this video i do upload three days a week i upload every tuesday thursday and saturday so be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe with notifications on that way you never miss a single video once you click the subscribe button the screen's gonna change colors it's gonna spin in circles i'm gonna get dizzy you're gonna get dizzy they're gonna get dizzy we're all gonna get dizzy and we might even have a dance party but with that being said keep being amazing keep being awesome the world is a better place with you in it click on the two videos over there don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video have an amazing day